Good evening. Tonight we're going to be configuring Time Machine using VoiceOver. What is Time Machine? Time Machine is an automated backup utility that allows um, you to have everything backed up, including system files if you wish, without any hassle um, and any, any worry. One thing to be sure of with Time Machine is if you if you used the hard drive, like for example, I used my portable um, iOmega hard drive before uh, Time Machine to transfer all the stuff off of my iMac to my MacBook, which I'm recording this on. Well, you want to make sure every single thing that is transferred is transferred, which I did before starting this recording. And the reason is because in order to partition for Time Machine, everything will have to be lost. But since I made sure everything's over here that I wanted, I'm going to go ahead and push option or function command F5 to start voiceover, and we will be underway. Voiceover on. Fun. Sorry, I activated dashboard by mistake. I meant to let's see. Finder Macintosh HD selected. Okay, that's what I wanted to do is turn up the volume. Okay, so we'll get into Macintosh hard drive here. Commando. Oh, window. Macintosh HD table. Table. So we want applications. So command O. Go one. Name. Address book. Selected application. Date modified. Fep. Collapsed. Row 38. Name. Utilities. Select. No row selected. Row one. Name. Activity we monitor. Now... Selected application. Date modified. February 6th, 2000. We are now in utilities, and I'm going to push T for time machine. Row 24. Name, terminal, selected application, row 23. Name, row 22. Maybe Name, it's in general remote application. Remote install Mac OS 10, selected application, date modified, February 6, 2008, 8.56 a.m. Size, 1.7 megabytes, time, application, 13 rows at I'm going to cheat. One. Name, address book, selected application. I'm going to cheat and use the arrow for the back and forward only because we're running short on time and battery power. Row 36. Name. Text edit, select row 37. Name, time machine, selected app, open, dialog, set up time machine button. A storage location, table. System preferences, window, time machine, toolbar. Off button. Enable switch, check checkbox, on button. In help button. Table one row selected, row one. I Omega HAD, unknown. Help button. Cancel. Use for backup button. Erase button. Closing dialog. Interact with dialog. Alert. In order to start backing up with time machine, the disk I Omega HAD must first be erased. Erasing will destroy all information on the disk and can not be undone. System has new window. Choose another volume button. Okay, we don't want to do that. Erase button. So I'm going to go ahead and erase. System preferences ready. So everything on the drive is being erased. And this has just been Messenger. configured for Time Machine. System has new window. So, um, now that it's been configured for Time Machine, let's see, um, where do we go from here? Change disk button. Options button. It do not back up. Total included 29.1 gigabytes. Add item to do not back up list button. Warn when all backups are deleted. Check checkbox. Help button. Cancel button. Done button. Options button. Stop. Click the lock to prevent further changes button. I'm going to do that. Okay, and it looks like it's been configured and is now working. So that's basically um, how you set up Time Machine. Ah, here we go. Next backup, 75 seconds. Um, so let's let this... Oh dear, we only have 10 minutes left on the battery. By the way, I'm going to read this here. Time Machine keeps hourly backups for the past 24 hours, daily backups for the past month, Weekly backups um, until your hard disk is full. 
So that's one of the things you want to be aware of. But anyway, uh, time machine backups has now been configured. We're going to let this count down to zero. Um, and let this uh, work its magic. System UI server. System dialog. OK button. OK, we are running on reserve battery power. I am aware of this. We only have five minutes left. System preferences. Window. Time machine. Click the lock to make changes button. OK. Um, I am going to let this, okay, 10 seconds. As soon as this backs up, I am going to eject the time machine disk and end the video. So let's see what happens. Processing, preparing, backing up. Ah, so you can see right here. That's strange. Oh, it's backing up 30, 40 megabytes. Okay, I see the thing. Um, anyway, that's how it works. Uh, I'm not going to let you see all of this, but you can. You get the point. Um, we're going to get back into I Show You. And we're going to quit the recording. And uh, thank you for watching, and uh, you can see Time Machine is perfectly accessible with voiceover, and um, I hope you had a, an enjoyable experience, and enjoy Time Machine.